From the Athens Tech Studios, this is the Athens News Podcast. Local news you can use about Athens and Clark County, all in seven minutes. And now, here are your top stories. Three members of the Gangster Disciples have been convicted by a federal jury for their involvement in three gruesome murders in Athens. Philip Chambers, a.k.a. Dalla Phil, Andrea Browner, a.k.a. Dre, and Leslie Green, a.k.a. Grip, were found guilty of various charges, including racketeer influence and corrupt organization conspiracy. The murders were driven by retaliation, starting with the murder of Gangster Disciples member Walter Brown in 2018. Chambers and Browner sought revenge and believed three Athens residents were responsible. They killed one of them, Rodriguez Rucker. Later, Green was directed to murder Derek Ruff and Joshua Jackson, whom Chambers suspected of cooperating with law enforcement. The victims were enticed to steal items, then murdered by Green. The convictions mark a victory against violent criminal activity, according to U.S. Attorney Peter D. Leary. Sentencing dates are yet to be determined. This from WSB-TV. Frank Sinkwitz III has been named the sixth chair of the Board of Trustees at Athens Academy. Sinkwitz is an alumnus of Athens Academy, graduating in 1989, and he went on to study at the University of Georgia. He currently holds the position of president at Northeast Sales Distributing and Skyland Distributing. Both of his children also attended Athens Academy. Sinkwitz's appointment as chairman marks the first time an alumnus has held the position. He expressed his gratitude for experiencing the school as a student, parent, and trustee, emphasizing the school's commitment to excellence in education and personal growth for students. He succeeds Carl Nichols in this role. This from the Red and Black. A University of Georgia student, Alexa Leahy, had a surprising encounter with an alligator while walking the Firefly Trail near her apartment in Athens. The trail runs along the Oconee River not far from UGA's campus. Leahy initially mistook the alligator for a log but quickly realized what it was due to her experience with alligators in Florida and coastal Carolina. The biology major estimated the alligator to be larger than six or seven feet. The sighting is rare this far north, and Leahy speculates that factors like global warming or improper pet ownership could be responsible. The Georgia Department of Natural Resources is investigating the sighting and advises people to keep their distance and avoid feeding the alligator. This from WSB-TV. Achieve more with Athens Tech. At Athens Technical College, their programs can connect you with in-demand and high-paying careers. I graduated from Athens Tech in May and started my job two weeks later. I had a job before I left, thanks to my professor, and just focusing on growing a career. As far as Athens Tech, I think I've been a member of the advisory panel for 10 years now, and uh, it's been it's been an awesome experience. I'm currently going to Athens Tech. I started out as an accounting major. I finished all my accounting classes and then switched over to the culinary and baking program. My name is Alex Lang. I'm an electromechanical engineering student. This is my second year at Athens Tech and I graduate in December. The long-term goal is to work for the railroad. Uh, whether that be Norfolk Southern or CSX. Achieve more with Athens Tech. Find out more at athenstech.edu. Let's add this to things you might do if you want a whole bunch of attention. And this from the athens Clark County News Facebook page. Chris Hayden posted, and quotation marks, Athens, don't go crazy, but are there any Buckeye bars in town or at least a pub that'll be showing the games? There were a lot of comments helping the fellow college football lover with some insights. Some, shockingly, were not so nice. Chuck E. Cheese was posted by Sim Doster. In Ohio was posted by Tom Solomon. The correct answer is, who cares? That was posted by Frank Bishop. There were many others, but we kind of kept it within the boundaries of reasonable taste. Again, that from the athens Clark County News Facebook page. Two men were found dead on a farm in Oconee County, possibly in a murder-suicide. The incident occurred on a property south of Watkinsville, with 68-year-old Alan Powers and his 37-year-old son, William Allen Breedlove, identified as the victims. The Oconee County Sheriff's Office responded after Powers called 911, but he had already died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. 
Powers had shot Breedlove with a pistol found at the scene. The authorities believe it was a murder-suicide due to Powers' call indicating he shot his son. The motive remains unclear, and it is suspected that an argument may have triggered the tragedy. The investigation continues. This from the Red and Black. Georgia football coach Kirby Smart is concerned about the reduced depth of his team's defensive line this preseason. Defensive tackle Bear Alexander, a promising player, left the program and joined Southern Cal. Despite high expectations after his freshman season in 2022, Alexander hadn't secured a starting position this spring, leading to his departure. Alexander's mentor, Tony Jones, expressed disappointment in Georgia's handling of the situation. Smart acknowledged the changing landscape of player transfers and emphasized the need to develop younger players and elevate the performance of existing ones due to the lack of available replacements. The team aims to overcome this depth challenge and improve overall defensive line strength. This from Bulldogs Extra of the Athens Banner Herald. The Clark County School District has announced it has received full system accreditation from Cognia, a nonprofit organization specializing in quality assurance for educational institutions. This five year accreditation is valid until the 28 29 school year. The accreditation acknowledges the district's commitment to maintaining productive learning environments, equitable resource allocation, and effective leadership. This achievement is distinct from the ongoing Cognia special review the district's Board of Education is undergoing. Superintendent Dr. Robbie Hooker highlighted the recognition's importance as a nationally recognized mark of quality and the district's dedication to continuous improvement. Cognia's rigorous process involves internal and external reviews, and this accreditation showcases CCSD's progress in impacting student learning. This from WGAU. Thanks for listening to the Athens News Podcast. Make sure you subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. This podcast is a production of BG Ad Group. All rights reserved.